Where does a meeting recording go when you have a meeting in Microsoft Teams? Well, that depends on two things. Was the meeting within a Microsoft Teams channel or was the meeting within the Microsoft Teams chat area? So we'll look at both scenarios and show you where to find that recording. Let's start with the channel. So I'm clicked on my Teams icon on the left here and looking at my Teams and my channels, I'm gonna go to Project Books and I'm in the resources channel. So you see here, I did have a meeting called book edit meeting. That was today. And if I click on this meeting right in the channel post area, it takes me into the meeting details and I can click on recap there. And from recap, I can look at the meeting. So that's for anybody that attended that meeting, anybody that's a part of that team, part of that channel, they can all access this recap in this way. Now you can go one step further here. So I could either play it by clicking on this play button here, or I can choose to go to the top right here and say open in stream. If I play it with the play button over here, it just plays it within the window that I'm in. If I go to open in stream, then it opens up the stream program within my web app. And I have more choices in this area here. So I'm just going to open up stream so you can see what the more choices are. All right. So I'm not going to go into all these choices, but you see, I have a full menu at the top that lets me move this meeting around. If I want to, it lets me edit it with either clip champ, which is a Microsoft product, or even just using the trim option at the, on the right here. So, so I can trim the beginning or the end of it. And then I have another uh, number of things on the right here, including letting me see any comments that happened during this meeting, if there was chats, uh, chat going on, and even the video settings, which would include me getting to the transcript for this meeting or generating a transcript for this meeting as well. Another important thing to notice when we when we're right in the stream app is that the meeting does have an expiry. And so if you want to change the expiry for that meeting, you can simply click on where it says expires. So you can either extend the expiry. So it's a little bit longer that you have access to this video, select an actual date that you want it to expire on or remove that expiration altogether. And really the idea of expiries within Microsoft Teams, especially with your Teams meetings, is just not to use up all that space for those videos if you don't need to. Now I'm back in Teams. I'm going to go back to that team I was in. And my example started with me having a meeting that was fairly recent. So it's easy for me to find that meeting and that recording. Let's say it's not so recent. You know, there was a meeting in the last few months and it was recorded, but to go and scroll through all the posts might be a tedious job. So what you can do instead is go to the files area of your team and within the files area, if there was ever a meeting recording in that channel, you'll see a recordings folder. So every channel you have meetings in, there'll be a recordings folder and that will house the videos as well. So let, let me click on recordings here and you see there are two recordings here. The one that I was just on book edit meeting. And then there's just another one that's just called meeting and resources because that's the name of the channel. So I can just click on this meeting and it will open up this meeting in stream for me, or I can click on the three dots and choose to open in stream or edit and clip champ, which is a Microsoft editor for videos or open an app. And so that would be whatever app you have on your device for playing media. So in my case, mine is a Windows media player that it would open in. Now I'm going to give you a third scenario within um, finding a recording for your meeting that happened in a Teams channel. And that is just to go into your web browser, log into Microsoft, and from the waffle menu at the top left, you're going to pick stream. And that's what I'm in right here. And so from here, stream would have any recordings from any meetings that you attended that were parts of a team channel. And so you could actually go and find that meeting by going to, so if you look at the bottom here, it says all recent and favorites. So recent meeting in, in resources and book edit is both showing up under recents because they were from today. If I click on all, they'll also show up in there. And I do have an option for searching and filtering. And we'll get into this in a few minutes when I go over some of the other ways to find a meeting, especially if it wasn't through a Teams channel. 
Okay. So now our next example is it was a meeting that wasn't in a team's channel. It was either so, a meeting somebody set up an Outlook, so that means it wasn't attached to a team in a channel, and so it'll appear in chat, or maybe it was just a meeting that you had with a group of people that you're already chatting with or an external person. And so if you look at my chat here, uh, I'm gonna focus on the live call example, but there are other icons that are indicating that some of these chats are just meetings and anything with that little calendar icon is such a thing. Those are just meetings. So I'm in the live call one and there actually are a number of meetings that have happened. They happen regularly for my membership group for the live calls. And so I can go into any one of these meetings just by scrolling through here and I can choose view recap from the button there, or I can go to recap at the top here within this chat. Now this recap, as soon as I go in here, is showing me the last meeting recording we have. But if I click on the drop down, you'll see there's a number of recordings that I could go back to. So let's just choose October 10th as an example. And part one and part two means there was two separate recordings, or perhaps I started the recording, then I stopped it, and then I started it again. And that's in fact what happened. As we were waiting for people to arrive, we had started the recording, but then we stopped it until we started the actual meeting. So I'm gonna to go to part two. And again, I can just choose play and it will play it in this window. And in this meeting, there was a transcript. So you can see that the transcript is showing here as well and can be downloaded by the way. If you want any information on how to make sure you get a transcript from your meeting, please watch one of my other videos on how to ensure you have transcripts from your meetings. But let's know Notice as well when we're in the chat area that we do have an option for open and stream. So this again will give us the same options that we had when we looked at a meeting that was recorded through the Teams channels. So I'm going to click on open and stream. So you can see when I chose to open in stream, it opened up this particular video in stream and I had the same example of a toolbar at the top as well as on the right and the transcript is showing as well. Uh, I'm going to go back just to the main stream screen and just show you how you could find this video or any of the videos that are from the live call that are happening regularly in the chat. So I'm going to click on the icon on the left to just go to stream the program and we see the same screen as we saw before. And if you notice, I'm going to scroll down a bit here and you'll see that live call. The last one that I did is showing up here. So aside from the meetings that were record recorded in the channel, which were these ones here, and then this one from the chat area, the other videos that you're seeing in here could be other chats or other channel videos, but I'll just let, let you know that another kind of video you're going to see within the stream app within Microsoft is any video you upload into Microsoft Teams channels files. The files area can also house other videos. So for my courses, I actually house the videos that for those courses within the Microsoft Teams environment. So you see a number of PowerPoint ones here. Let me just show you the Teams area that those are coming from. So notice I'm in my mission training team, online courses channel, and I have an actual library for my course videos. And that is where you're seeing the PowerPoint videos um, showing up in my stream because I would have uploaded them recently. So any video that you house within any channel of any team is going to show up in stream as well with that toolbar that lets you do more with those videos. Now I went back to the stream app just to show you a couple of neat things in here that you might want to take advantage of, especially if you're having a hard time finding that recording of that meeting that you know was in the last X amount of months perhaps. And so there is a button at the top here that does say meeting. So if you click on it, this will show you any meetings that you have within your teams or within your chat. Now, a big thing I need to tell you about your chat meetings is that if you did not organize a meeting, then you may not have access to the recording. So when the recording is actually created from that chat, you will need to ask the organizer to share that recording with you. Otherwise, they will not appear here. So that's a big thing. Nice to be an organizer of a meeting because then you get the recording automatically. So one more thing uh, within here I'll just show you is that the search for files and the filter. So I can actually go to filter here and time and tell it that I'm looking for a meeting that I know happened in the previous month. So previous month is including stuff that happened recently. 
So the last month is really what it's saying here. So you're seeing all of these ones that were on that top line. Let me go to the filter again and just see your other choices here. So you've got a few other choices in terms of time. And then you also have choices in terms of activity. And so you're, you can say, well, these meetings were created by me, meaning I was the organizer. So that could be more along the lines of in the team's channel, because as I said earlier, the chat ones you'd see automatically. But if you were um, someone that's part of a meeting within a team's channel, channel you're going to have access to them because you're part of that team but did you create that meeting yourself so that's why you'd have that option there and then a few other options that would let you maybe narrow down which meeting it is you're looking for so I'm going to go clear all and then another thing we can do is just search for the meetings um, and search for the meeting name so I'll type in 365 because that's the name of our actual membership groups 365 learning hub and you'll see i get that live call meetings as well as uh, information session one about my 365 so if i go 365 lh then it'll narrow it down just to my live calls okay so hopefully this gave you a few ideas on how to go about finding that meeting recording just keep in mind was it within a team and a channel that you belong to or was it in the chat area and if it was in the chat area were you the organizer of that meeting or do you have to ask for permission to get that recording? Okay, so have fun with that. Thanks. Bye-bye.